Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this smartphone by Oppo. Model is Renault 4Z and it's a 5G Android smartphone. Now this is a budget price smartphone so you can purchase one of these for less than £300 UK currency and it has a lot of features packed into it. Another thing that really impresses me is that the camera. I've also done a testing on the camera as well so I will show you later on in the video. It has a quad camera here and I've done a testing and the camera really impressed me. It has an amazing ultra steady camera, the autofocus is brilliant, it doesn't blur out or anything and it has 4K built into it so it has a lot of features packed into it, into this smartphone that's only worth less than £300. So I will show you all those features. Now inside the box you would get these earphones, it's a wired earphone because it takes a 3.5mm headphone jack. It also comes with this USB Type-C charging cable as well and this mains plug. It also comes with this user manual here and it also comes with a built-in uh, screen protector as well because if you go online you won't find these kind of screen protectors for this model. And it also comes with this case, it's a transparent silicone um, case as well. It also comes with this pin to open up the SIM tray. Now I like this smartphone because it has built in 5G and that's the main thing. For that price to have 5G built in is very impressive. That's the reason why I like about it because it has 5G built into it. It has a lot of other features as well. And you can see it, the, even the style of it, of the phone is brilliant. It has a nice aluminium metal build quality as well. And quad camera at the back with the flash in the middle. Um, on the left side here, if I open this up, let me open this up. It takes two nano sims, so you can put two nano sims to the, in this phone. So it's a dual sim smartphone. Uh, it also has the volume buttons here. At the bottom, it takes a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack, the USB Type C, and it also has the uh, speakers built into it here. On the right side, it has the power button here, and this also acts as a fingerprint sensor as well to unlock your phone. So got that feature as well. It has a built-in 8 gig RAM as well and 128 gig memory, so that's decent. And 8 gig RAM is brilliant because you can do a lot of, um, lot of, t a lot of multitasking with the apps open, playing games, etc. And it wouldn't slow your phone down. So that's the, another great thing about this smartphone. And it has 120 Hz visual, so the screen display is amazing. Watching films, watching YouTube videos, etc. The quality of the screen is amazing as well. It also um, has a dual front camera as well, so the, the um, selfies that you would do it has a lot of quality to it as well when you're capturing photos and the rear camera it has a quad camera and the main camera is 48 megapixel with the other three that are 8 megapixel 2 megapixel and 2 megapixel it also has a 4000 mAh battery capacity as well so that's another great thing about it that would give you at least a good 6 to 8 hours of continuous usage time and it also has a 18 watts fast charge as well it also has a um, or also a vision effect that brings rich color, depth and realism to your uh, viewing experience. So that's what I was talking about with that um, 120Hz visuals. And it also has a um, Dirac 2.0 automatically, it automatically switches to the most um, suitable audio mode for your scenarios. So uh, that's another go of these features that a lot of other phones don't have yet. And it also ha operates on Android 10. Um, operating system. It also has a lot of great features like Oppo Relax, multi-user mode, um, dark mode, etc. So let me go through some features. And you can see the screen display as well looks just looks amazing. That's this is on full brightness as well. So bear that in mind. You can put it on low if you want. Hold on. So if I put it on low, that's how it is. I'm putting on I'm just putting on max for now so we can see the quality of this phone. Now I'm gonna go to the settings here. Now in the settings, these are all the um, features that you have there. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, then you got other wireless connections here. Uh, so you've got NFC, tap and pay, Android Android Beam, screen and um, cast, print, etc. So for this, for the price range, pretty much has everything that you need. It has notifications here, so all the other features here. Um, wake screen when a notification is received, you got all those options there. Display and brightness, home screen and wallpaper, sound and vibration, do not disturb, fingerprint, face, password. So you've got face unlock or fingerprint both on both of them as well. And 
fingerprint pretty good because if you're using certain apps that requires pin to unlock it it's very easy just to tap it and it unlocks it would have been better if you had a built-in in-screen um, unlock fingerprint unlock but for the budget price the fact that it still has one on the side is still brilliant it also has the convenience tools as well here a weight google assistant with power button um, got gesture motions here as well and then you got privacy you got location security battery a digital well-being and parental controls languages here you got additional settings so additional settings you got storage day and time keyboard input method screenshot screen recording so you got screen re recording as well for those who need a screen recorder so you can capture stuff so it, it has a lot of features built into it software update about phone legal information app man management app cloner game space split screen as well so you've also got split screen user users and accounts as well so pretty much it has a lot of features now built in it also has the oppo relax that's the uh, oppo's own app here that has it's like a meditation um way of you know staying you know just ha meditating so that kind of way so it has that options to uh, you know that breathing option it has certain nice relaxing music as well meditation sleep mode coffee shop concentration solitude concentration then you got ambient mode here as well so you got to have a nature sound as well so it has that all those features there it has um, a few other apps as well built into it but generally this phone is brilliant for that price range I'm very impressed with the quality of the phone the um, speed of it, uh, the style of it, and the camera. Now I'm going to show you the camera as well. So let me get the camera ready so I can show you how the camera operates. Okay, so I've taken pictures with the light on and without the light on. I've also done a video recording as well with the light on and without the light. Plus also recorded on ultra um, steady mode as well. So that's a separate mode that has that excellent stability as well and it won't lag when you're moving. And it has that amazing auto focus on both the ultra steady mode and without the auto ultra steady mode as well. So let me start off with uh, the pictures. So that, that's the first picture I've taken. That's without the lights on. And you can see that the quality of the camera is brilliant. It doesn't have no uh, no pixel pixels or no fuzziness at the background. It just captured it brilliant. It captures quickly as well. This is without, with the light on. The flashlight on and you can you can see that it, the quality the the sharpness everything is brilliant now i've done a video without uh, without the flashlight on so let me put the volume up it competes with um, ca camera phones that are worth around 600 to 800 pound and that's in my opinion because it has a lot of features packed into it now this is only worth three, less than 300 pounds they have other models that are worth four to five hundred pounds that have even better cameras that have better features but uh, the stability is so that's the camera that's with now, the mode flashlight on the stability is amazing it's very impressing for the price range of this smartphone the camera feels like a flagship camera it competes with a lot of smartphones that are worth from 600 500 to 800 pounds and that's on ultra steady mode by the way with the flashlight on hold on and I can go to any objects, it won't blur out, it just it captures everything. And this is recording in 4K as well, it's just, uh, it's just amazing how this camera has such a brilliant stability and autofocus to it. Even capturing my voice, the, the quality of the sound is brilliant as well. Let me off the, uh, the light as well slightly pixelated but that's because it's ultra steady mode if i remove that it gets slightly better so i hope you like the videos and the pictures i've taken and the camera is very impressing and oh, the sound quality as well is very good to watch films youtube anything the sound quality is brilliant it's not squeaky or anything like that so everything is brilliant on this smartphone i don't i don't see any downside to it for the price range, everything is brilliant. There are all these features that he has packed into it, and I highly recommend it to go to try this phone out and buy it yourself, and you you won't regret buying it. So thank you for watching my video. Please do give a like and subscribe.